Hi, this is Felix from Alcon Systems. Today, I'm going to show you how you can integrate this component library in your Angular project. This component library enables developers to easily populate database items in your data table in a few minutes without much coding. It has features like partitions, it has search, it has add button, and it can have a maximum of three buttons in each table row. Now, to begin using this library, you make sure you have your Angular project set up and also make sure you run this um, command line to install this command line to install the library in your project. Now, in my app.component.html, you can see I have nothing here but just one div element. Now, if I go to my app.model.ts, I have already installed this plugin, um, um, this library. I have imported the model and then the service that comes with this, li uh, with this library. I have also registered a service in the providers also. Now, if I come to my page, you can see I have a blank screen here. Now, to create um, a data table, you go to your HTML, you say FLX UI data table, you close it, you save it. Now, let's see what happens next in our browser. Okay, now with this simple code, we have our select pagination, we have our previous and next paginations, which you can use to paginate through your table. You also have a search bar here, which you can use to search an item. You also have a reload button here, which you can use to reload data from your API when something goes wrong. Now, let's begin adding headers to our table. Now, to add headers to a table, you say headers. Now, this requires an array of strings. Say full name, say mobile, say gender, and say description. Let's save it and see. Okay, now we have our headers here. Okay, but there's no data. Now, to add a data to, the, um, to this table, we provide our API link. Say data URL. Now, this also requires a string. Okay. It, now, let me copy paste my, this is my link. This, that is localhost. Okay. Let me copy my link, copy, paste it here. Now, before you we save this project, let's view the network console. Come here, you save it. Okay, so now the library automatically load data from this link. So now we, we get 200 status, which is okay. Now let's check the response here. So now we have a JSON, um, JSON object. We have a status. We have data. We have data, which is holding all our items. Then and come here, you have total, which is 86. Okay, but we need to populate these items in this particular table. Now, there is a key here. So we copy this key. We copy, we say data SRC, that is source key. This also requires a string. We paste it here. Now, if your response is only this, if it is an array of objects, then you don't need to specify this. Okay. Now let's populate our um our our data so you say to populate your data you say data keys now this also requires an array of strings now this full name is this key copy you paste it mobile mobile number you copy you paste it, gender, copy, paste, then description, what is description, okay, description is here, copy, you paste it, now let's save it, we close this, mm. 
bam now we have our data here now we have 86 data but by default this library um, um, does the pagination 20 per pagination that is 20 items per pagination 20 items per pagination so you can use this to pagination through your data we have 86 you can also use this one to pagination through your data one four you can also choose to view all your data okay you can also search let's say felix let's say why let's say why okay 86 okay now you can also um, um, specify the number of um, the number of items per pagination by saying limit 10 now we have we have five here okay let's save it okay so now we have 10 items per pagination now it is nine previously it was five so it means we have um, nine paginations in our table so next 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 if you come here you say nine go to six eight nine now i have 86 no why gg that is this one okay now we need a button here a button or buttons here now you can have a maximum of three buttons in each table row so now let's begin adding um, buttons to this table now to add a button to your table you need to tell the library that hey i need a buttons in my table so give me a, um, an action button column so you say has action buttons you set to true then you specify your action buttons okay this also requires an array of objects text that is the text to view um that's the text to display on the button let's say edit and then an icon f a f a um edit i am using a font awesome now let me add one more button to uh, one more button to it you say text let's say view um icon f a f a um i let's save it okay now we have our two buttons here that is edit and view now let's add the last button to it let's say text let's say delete um icon at F A F A trash. Now you can also um, um, choose to display the icon to the right side of the text by saying icon position. So you say right, save it. Okay, now we have our three buttons, but with this one, we have the button um at the right side of the delete text okay now let's handle these buttons now when we take the first row we have button one we have button two we have button three now to handle the first button you come here then you say first action button clicked then you specify your own event say first button clicked and you pass the event inside now this event is the data that is coming from this event when a user clicks on it okay so now let's copy our event you come here you paste it you say e that is the event that's the data now let's console log the data that is coming from that particular event you see first action first action button clicked I say E now we save it now let's view 
then console let me delete all these things okay delete now it says first action button click now it gave us an object of index of zero and then data that's the index index that is the position the user clicked and then the data that is the all the data that is in that particular position if i click on this it says index one first action button clicked of index one let me click this one you say index eight then index nine it's just like array position zero position one position two position three downwards okay now let's handle the second button also by saying second action button clicked you see um second button clicked then you pass your event inside you copy you come here say e say e any let's say console dot log that is second action button clicked of e let's save it Okay, let's handle this one also. It says second action button clicked of position zero. First action button clicked of position zero. Now let's see what is inside um, the data that is inside this particular position. You come here, you say data. Now we have full name. Full name is Felix. We have mobile. Mobile is zero five four five five nine five five four four zero. Then we have mail. Um, we have gender which is male okay so when user clicks on these buttons this is the um, this is the data that comes from that particular event so you can use this data to do anything you want okay now to handle the third button you say third action button clicked in here okay now this library also comes with um, with an add button that is over here which um, for example when user clicks you want to add an, um, a record to this um, to this data in your database by doing this you tell the library that give me you say ha has add button then you say true save it okay now we have our add button here now if if you don't need it let's say false now when there is no button here this search will occupy um, the available space here okay now let's bring it back okay now let's use the service that comes um, um, that's coming with this that that is in this particular library now to use this let me let me create a button here say br sorry let's say br okay let's say button um, button class btn btn um let's say success let's say use services let's say click use services you copy it you save it now let's create that event here okay now we have our use service services button here so now let it, to use um, the service that is in this particular library you import it you inject it in your constructor now you see this now um, firstly let's reload the data 
says this dot data service dot flx reload data then you save it now when you want to reload data from your api okay now let's view the network console say this you see this now it is reloading data from your api this okay now to get um, um the data that is that is coming from your api you say this dot data service dot flx data dot subscribe now you need to subscribe to this um to this observable you say response now this response is the data that is coming from your api okay so you say console.log you say my data you say response uh, save it now let's view the console click on it bam now we have our data that is an array of 86 which means it has um 87 items uh, sorry 86 items in it okay so these are all your items these are all your data okay now to handle this button this add button it says add button click now to read the full documentation of this um, of this library you can go to npm or github to read the full documentation of it thanks for watching bye